Hi everyone, this is Abhina from PhoneBunch and today we are taking a look at gaming on the brand new Xiaomi Redmi 2 Prime. Now this is made in India, it comes with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard storage but yes, apps are still not movable to the external SD card but there's plenty of space to install those new games. So let's start with the temperatures, it's about 33 degrees in the front and back. We have no AC running over here. So the first game we are playing is Riptide GP2. The viewing angles of the display are quite wide, there isn't any major distortion with colors or brightness. And again, the Redmi 2 Prime has a fantastic speakerphone. It is loud, it is clear, it has a hint of bass in it as well. Now this is quite a sharp display because you have HD resolution on a smaller 4.7 inch display. So everything looks crisp. Now we are playing Leo's Fortune and again graphics look great over here. Yes, the colors are a bit towards the warmer side, especially greens. They look a bit overpronounced, but still, it's a very sharp panel. Gameplay is very smooth again in Dead Trigger 2. We are playing this game in high settings. Haven't noticed any frame drop or lag till now in all of the games that we have tried. And we will check temperatures after playing this game. So it's been about 7 odd minutes that we have been playing games continuously. And here too you can see while panning across, moving around, there is no lag in Dead Trigger 2 at high settings. And you can see temperatures have risen to about 41 degrees in the front. At the back they are about 43 odd degrees. So this is not overheating. Yes, it is getting a bit warm. We will check the temperatures again. Now we are playing a basic game. It's Subway Surfers. And here too the colors do look quite alright, the display looks sharp, no jagged edges and the gameplay is very smooth. And once again I have to say the speakerphone is very loud and clear. Now this is Frontline Commando D-Day. And here too the contrast of the display really helps, you can distinguish the different textures that are shown in the gameplay. Smooth gameplay and consistent frame rates here as well. Haven't noticed any lag till now. Now we are moving on to a heavier game. It's Nova 3, a first person shooter. And once again while zooming in or out, moving around or panning across, I don't see any lag. So again, even in Nova 3, the gameplay is very smooth. Now all the games that you have seen till now have been installed at the same time. The touch response from the display is really good. Gameplay is very smooth over here. And I don't feel this phone is getting hot. Yes, it is a bit warm just around the camera module, but it's not getting hot. So it's been about 12 odd minutes that we have been playing games continuously and you can see the temperature is about 41 again in the front, same as before. And at the back again around 43, 44 odd degrees. So the temperature is remaining constant, it is not rising. And this is pretty acceptable because we are in a non-AC environment. Now we are playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. Again, superb gameplay. So this is what we have seen till now. All the games that we have tried, whether they are basic games or high-end games, there is no lag and gameplay is very smooth. The speakerphone definitely makes gameplay more immersive. Even though it is located at the back, it is quite loud and clear. Now we are moving on to FIFA 15. And here too the gameplay looks great, I can distinguish between different players, the grass itself, everything looks quite crisp. So superb gameplay till now, haven't noticed any major lag throughout our gameplay review till now. Smooth gameplay and very consistent frame rates and the touch response is really good on this display as well. Now we are moving on to Asphalt 8. Now we have already seen the Adreno 306 GPU coupled with the quad core Snapdragon 410 perform really well. We saw that on the original Redmi 2 and we see it here as well. No lag whatsoever, great touch response from the display, sharp visuals and a loudspeakerphone. So this might just be one of the best budget smartphones for gaming that are available in the market right now. Again, very smooth gameplay in Asphalt 8 as well. We are playing this game in high settings. 
Now just to add, we have been playing all these games in performance mode, not in balanced mode. So even then the temperatures haven't risen that much. It's around 42 degrees in the front and it's about again 44 odd degrees at the back. So this phone doesn't heat up. Yes, it does get a bit warm with extended gaming, but that's just about it. Now we are moving on to the last game of our review. This is Modern Combat 5. So till now we have established this phone doesn't heat up really that much, just gets a bit warm. The display is sharp, gameplay is smooth, apps are not movable to the external SD card and the speakerphone is very loud over here. So overall this is one of the better gaming smartphones available for just rupees 699 in the market right now. 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, that's plenty for multitasking and even installing multiple games at the same time. So folks, that was a gaming review of the new Redmi 2 Prime made in India by Xiaomi. Overall, I am impressed with the general performance of the device as well as gaming. It really did perform well even with all the basic and high-end games that we tried. We'll be back with the camera review of the Redmi 2 Prime soon. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button so that you don't miss out on these videos. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.